Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Miss Rachel Webb and Anna Lamb, you probably will hear both of their voices, but they are both here and owners and craft educators as well. Today we are making a giant Easter egg basket. However, I have some sad news. I was gonna crochet this really cute handle, which I'll still crochet for you, but I cannot find the drill because, well, one of our drills, because it happens to be in my garage at home. That's on me. Um, and the other one, I don't know, it's Jason, so he may have taken it home. That's what I'm betting. So I was going to drill in here, which I could, I might be able to, I was gonna drill in there and then create a little basket type thing, but we'll see. I'm still gonna do everything else. Look at this giant egg. They had these at Walmart. Rachel, you have linked ones from Amazon? Yes. And they had two different sizes at Walmart. This one is huge. I love it. It is very sturdy. I don't know how big it is. It probably said on that thing. It is roughly 16 inches. Very large. I love it. And it's just a nice, Thick plastic, a cool alternative. I, one thing that I like about Easter trends this year are is that people are trying to find alternatives to, to regular baskets, which I think is really fun. And this is one alternative that I really like. This was just over in the candy aisle at Walmart, you know, where all the Easter stuff is. And you can find these other places in different colors too. So if you don't just want clear, you can get different colors. You can get them that half like this, so that there's like a, like a top and a bottom that are equal instead of bottom and top so it would be like equal halves if that made sense yeah um kind of like a deviled egg kind of like a deviled egg yeah anyway we're going with this one also just got some cute little eggs to put in there so that we can look and then one thing that i got for this i hate easter grass come at me i hate it it goes everywhere it's hard to keep up it's it's like once it expands you never get it back into that tiny unless you have a vacuum sealer which i guess i could do um, but instead of grass, I'm going to use tulle. So I'm going to fluff up tulle and put it in the bottom. It's a blue sparkly tulle that's really pretty. And I ha um, I got this. This was over in the fabric section. It was really cute, really cute Easter colors. And if you can't, or if you can't find a bow like this, you can easily make a bow like this. But I just thought it's really nice to go ahead and just buy one. It was probably cheap too. Yeah, it was $2.48. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I got some fabric. This is a yard of fabric. And I'm gonna cut, the idea was that I was gonna cut strips and then crochet with those big strips, a handle that would go like this. And then I was gonna drill holes right here. Maybe Anna will come through with a drill for us. But so I have a large um, crochet hook. This is just a plastic one. This is the Q, um, it's a pack and it has the size P and size Q. Um, and we're going to be using the cue, I think. Also, we're going to put some vinyl on this. We're going to be using our Cricut because we want to customize, right? What is a crafter without customization? So I'm going to put one of the Oak and Lamb cut files on there, probably the peep. It would be cute with an Easter bunny. In fact, I thought of a couple of different ways that we could dress this up, and there are so many different ways, right? My first thought was a monogram. Monogram, yes. So yeah, I thought about a monogram as well. Another thought was to make, use felt and pop cleaners. You put felt pipe cleaners in the felt and make little ears that actually stick up like this. So you would drill little holes, put them in there, it would stay. Oh. And then you could put bunny feet and like even a face on it. That would be adorable. Anna, did you come through for us? Mm -hmm. You're the best. And I brought you coffee. And she brought me coffee. She wants us to know, yes. Um, but I am going to... I think put a giant peep on here and we're going to cut it right here so that it opens up but it should look seamless so what we'll do is apply it on here and then take our true control knife and then create a seam right there and then we're going to put the bow on the peep hopefully it may end up having to be up here we'll have to see i thought there was more down here and then i'm going to put a name in the ear so the peep is going to be vinyl and I wanted to use this cute tech wrap vinyl they sent us this and they sent us this one both of these would be really cute but I particularly love this color combination and this is going to be uh, the peep is is a kind of thick 
big image. It's not small and intricate. So we're going to be able to see a lot of, of the pattern. So if you have a patterned vinyl that is floral or something that your kiddos would love for Easter, this would be a good project for that. I think a lot of times it's difficult to find things to cut out of a pattern vinyl because you just lose a lot of the pattern when you have smaller and more intricate cuts. So yeah, this is absolutely. a good one. And then I'm going to be choosing solid purple for the name where I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it up in the ear and I think it will look really cute right here. This is just uh, Starcraft vinyl. We love it. Um, I think that's everything. Who all is here? What are we doing? I've not even looked to see, to see you all. Welcome. So many people are here. Um, Kat said, I sound groggy. I need to wake up. I'm, I'm on antibiotics, but I do have strep throat. Her throat, it's. It's my bad. lymph nodes are so swollen yeah. that it's impacting yeah. my voice. I promise I'm awake. I'm good and awake. And yeah. brought me coffee too, so I'm good and awake. But I'm feeling much better today, and I'm all, I'm no longer contagious. Otherwise, I would not be here. Absolutely, I'm you know. Um, but we have so many friends here today, Yay. guys. Easter will be here literally before we know it. This this Sunday. This Sunday. It's ridiculous. That is insane to me. Okay. Um, where's the adapter, Anna? Did you find it? Oh, thanks. Thanks, poops. Mm -hmm. You did me a solid. Okay. Stacy, Anna said, where's my coffee? Or, yeah, where's my coffee, Anna? Stacy said. It's on its way to you, Stacy. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, so I, I measured the egg, it was 16 inches, but I wanna measure kind of where I want on this. And I'm thinking like a nine inch peep, right? Another thing, do you have something to say, Rachel? No. You looked like you had something to say, that's why I asked. Another thing that you wanna think about when you're putting stuff on this is the bigger the image, the obviously. The wider the font. Yes, and the wider the font. The, the, like if you're gonna cover a bunch of this egg, then you're gonna have the contour problem, right? Um, meaning, Not cute. no, it's gonna like fold up on itself and kind of buckle. And I'm mildly concerned the peep may do that. So and it's gonna distort, like it'll distort, not even look right. So you, yeah, yeah. So nine inches may be stretching it. We'll see. Um, but. Let's go ahead and go over into design space and get started on this because we have several things that we want to do and I want to get them all done today. Let's open up design space. This is the Happy Peep Easter file that it's on the website right now. If you are an Oakland member, go grab it and you can use this as well. And look, it has all these cute little accessories. So you could cut those out of a different color of vinyl if you want to. But because I'm making a 3D bow, which might be in her hair instead of as like a necktie. We'll see. Now, Becca, what if they happen to not be an Oak and Lamb member? If you're not an Oak and Lamb member, it's totally cool because right now is a great time to join the Oak and Lamb membership. The team, if you use the code CRAFTY, C-R-A-F-T-Y, then you get $40 off our annual membership right now, and that gets you access to all of our cut files with free commercial use license, as well as member-only education, member-only content, and member-only community group access. So join now, use that code CRAFTY, you have through the end of the month, which is just Sunday, and then that code is going bye-bye. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Okay, so back over in Design Space, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this and delete the layers that I don't want. And it honestly doesn't matter which one of these we use. But like I said, I want it to be about nine inches tall. And I'm thinking, what if I do put the little bow right here, which will help with placement here because otherwise I think the bow is going to be having to place like right where it seems. So it would open and shut. I guess it wouldn't necessarily be horrible. You, do we think I should cut the peep out first, place it, and then decide if I'm going to put the name as a circular monogram here? Or, uh, I'm trying to decide. Nope, I'm just making the choice. Do it. Okay, so we're going to do the circular monogram because Rachel envisioned a monogram. I yeah. did. EOF, you know, I love the scalloped monogram it's gonna who's say it? fallon because it's kind of girly I was about to say, am who's I, EOF? Who's monogram's I EOF? am i typing scalloped wrong 
scallop, not scalloped. Okay, so we have left, right, and middle. Make sure that you are selecting the correct, whoops, I need them to also be capitalized. EOF and group. This one will be left. This one will be center. This one will be right. And then we're going to make them big and we're also going to put them together. Come on. Like that. Miss Babs says, hello, I'm new here. It's my <gasps> first time on your live. Hi, Babs. Welcome. We're so glad that you're here with us. Um, this monogram, you can group it together, but you're also going to want to attach it together or weld it together so that you're not having to place these individually. So what would happen if, first of all, let me go ahead and hit explore because that's the machine I'm using today. If you click make it without attaching it, in all probability, it is going to separate the monogram. See how it it's like this, which is fine because these are large pieces and you could easily place them and, and put them on there without having to line it up and, and have difficulty there. But it's so easy to just press attach so that when you click make it, it stays like that. So let's go back and make sure that we like this size. If you wanted to do the little eyes, you could do those little eyes. You could also put the monogram up here if you wanted to and then still do a bow or a name here in the ear, however you want to do it. It's the beauty of it. Um, and that's all we have to do in Design Space. Let's go ahead and click Make It. And continue, connect to our machine. I need to grab a mat really quickly. There's a fresh mat in there, I think. <gasps> Brand spanking new and this one is nice. She's okay. Fresh. So purple is going out first because that's going to be our monogram. Let me cut a little piece. Since when is this baby chewing on his hands? He has been. He loves his hands. He loves them. He this does. This is the most fun thing in the world. He's drooling like crazy. I feel like he's going to teethe early. He just turned four months last week. Charlie started at four months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Beckett and Fallon did too. They yeah. both got teeth really early. He I feel like Chapman did too. He got two bottom teeth and kept them for. Uh, honest to the good Lord, it felt like eight months yeah. he had just two teeth. <laughs> Charlie had them forever. They're so cute when they start getting teeth, though. Oh, my goodness. It's true. I remember Anna saying it was bittersweet. Yeah. Because she yeah. didn't want Chappy to get teeth and look like a big boy. I'm going to use the premium vinyl setting. We got an email, and I actually forwarded it to you, Rachel. I just found it today. It, and it was talking about settings for vinyl. Okay. A friend was having trouble cutting her vinyl. And she was using a Starcraft. Now, it was like a slightly glittery one, so it wasn't just normal. And was wondering what setting. And honestly, I just use, unless it's like a, if it's a thick, chunky glitter vinyl, you're going to use the, the glitter vinyl. But the Starcraft one's not No, thick. but it's not. So you should be able to just use the original. She, she was, was saying that it, that it comes up off the mat, and I'm wondering if. I think it's her blade. Could be her blade. She said she changed her blade, though. Mm. So... The other thing, I'm wondering if she is braying because she said that it's coming up off her mat. And I don't know if it's the whole piece or just the vinyl. These are, if you guys email in, these are the types of details. If you can also sh like share a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're very visual people, of course. And, yes. And by asking you guys those types of questions, we're in no way saying, like, you're dumb or this. No. We just want the information because. Because we want to give you a good yeah, answer. While we believe you 100% that it's StarCraft, when we see it, Visibly, we might be like, okay, well, that's much thicker than the Starcraft crack weaving right. counter that's glitter, you know. I'm going to go ahead and cut some strips of this so that I can use my time very wisely. I feel like I've bought that fabric before. I feel like we probably did have some, but it's one of those, like, I don't want to not buy it and then get here and, like, not have it, you know, because no. we're not super close to the store anymore. Can always use a cute little Anna. Can you get me fabric? the good fabric shears out of my the the Glockenspiels, the go the Guggen Guggenheimers, the Guggenheimers, the Gileads. The I'm not sure. The They're in a box ones, though. The one that's locked. 
They're in a little box. This cut really quickly, so I'll go ahead and weed it while I'm waiting on the goo goo Oh, 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 that's good. Oh, oh, that's good, Anna. they're being, that's good, Anna. They're being presented to me. Yes. Thank you. Can you? Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yes. They are Guggenheims, by the way. We actually do know With how to say it. An M or an N? N. Guggenheim. 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 Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and weed this really quickly and get it off my mat so that I can use the mat again. Also, let me go ahead and grab a bit of transfer tape. Rachel, I love this tiny size. I think we bought, did it's we buy this from size. Timu or Amazon? I want to, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I can't remember, but I do like it for small things like this. I do too. I like, because it's like the, the ease of use of clear transfer tape, but the handiness of the masking, masking paper, right. because it's six inches as well. So it's like the best of both worlds. Okay, so I'm applying that transfer tape, and then I'm going to remove the mat from my vinyl and burn it, or bray, burnish. Why do, why do both of those words have to be so similar and start with the B? Bray is with our brayer, right? We love our brayer. Burnish is with the scraper. I'm really actually different things. I don't really know. I mean, I, mean, I feel like you could, I feel like this is a pretty universal. I mean, at the finish line, you're kind of getting the same thing it's done. It's true. Okay, so this is going to be roughly five inches by nine inches. So let me see if I have enough. Well... Doesn't I don't really think anybody will crucify you for saying bray or burnish. Not here because everyone is so kind to me. Well, well. Except for Kat and Stacey, but you know, whatever. Well, the one thing that I got crucified by, like, nonstop when I first started making videos is, and I've told you this so many times, Becca, I would say access for excess vinyl. Oh. I would say access every time. Oh my lord, the comments will be flooded. I with can imagine. She's saying access instead of excess. I learned. I learned. Now, Rachel. Now, I'll never stop saying guys. And we I'm haven't either. gotten that here. We got that at MGL a lot more than we have here. But I say guys, and I mean collectively everyone who's watching. Like, hey, guys, not men. That's not what I'm saying. But people think that's what I'm saying. That wasn't a common one that I would get. So now I'm going to bray this down with the brayer so that it doesn't move on me. And Rachel, do you remember, do we just, did we just use the regular As far as I remember, setting? yes. Okay, well, we have plenty. If we happen to screw it up, then we can go back. So it is, it doesn't matter, premium vinyl or premium outdoor, honestly. Go ahead and load it and cut it out. And then I'm going to get back to cutting this while that cuts out. There's the Guger Heimers. And honestly, I could make this really simple on myself and just grab a rotary cutter. And Becca, if you wanted to pull the table your way about five inches, okay. you can. Not a make or break, but... I feel like this baby's gonna choke himself on his own knuckles. I know, it's insane. And I try to hand him things, but we, we're gonna get a PT evaluation because we never wanna open our hands. Oh. That's a problem. Well, he's, is that a problem at his age? Well, okay, this did not cut all the, yeah, yeah it did. It's just so thick. Also, it's a basic shape. It's so yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah. But do you notice that I did not unload because I was yeah, going smart. to test this first. And if it did not cut well, I was just going to let it do another pass. But since it did fine, go ahead and unload. Look how cute that is. Adorable. Adorable. So let me go ahead and grab some transfer of this. Again, I could probably just place this. Uh oh. What? I just got my transfer tape with my Guggenheim huggers. I don't want to hear it. What? What is it, Pearson? 
place this. And the other thing I want to tell you, we can go ahead, you know what, before I put this down, so don't do it like I did it. Before I put this down, I should have placed my monogram. Not a big deal. I can do it later, but it would have been easier. Let me see if it'll come off. Okay, it will. Let's go ahead and place this. Oh, that's so cute. This will be cute with an offset too. There we go. Layering vinyl is just as easy as it looks. When I started. Adhesive vinyl, yeah. Yes. When I started with Cricut, I was so scared to layer vinyl, and I don't know why. It's so stinking simple. But it doesn't seem that way. Uh -uh. And that's common for everything, especially print and cut. We hear people terrified of print and cut all the time because it seems scary. Yeah, it does. Okay. Can bray that or burnish it either way. You just want to transfer it over. Just like that. And then I don't know what the easiest way is going to be. Where is our um ah let's see if this will work. This is gonna be hilarious. It might be. This is a um it's for tumblers. So that you can put the tumbler in there. It has measurements so that you can help do that. But it also is so that it will not move on you. However, <laughs> I really am not sure this is going to help much at all. I'm going to kind of do that um, and see how this goes. So make sure... If I put this right here, then when I cut through right here, it's going to cut through part of the monogram. So I want to place it more like this so that it cuts like at its neck or something. You know what? I'm going to have to do this. This table so tall. Sorry, you're just not going to be able to see this for a second. Actually, if I flip it towards you, it's clear so you can actually see it. Okay. That pattern vinyl is so cute. Isn't it adorable? I love that it kind of watercolors into the next color. That's cute. And I love rainbow anyway. You are a sucker for rainbow. I am. Gets me every time. Ow, my hair's stuck in there. Yeah, as predicted, this is a little bit thicker. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take the transfer tape off and then work with it. Beth. Fallon's first name is Emery. Emery Fallon Oaks is her full name. Like Bex's is Samuel Beckett Oaks. So they both go by their middle name. Beckett actually named Fallon Fallon. After Jimmy Fallon, of course, which Jimmy Fallon. I mean to be named after somebody, I would want to be named after Jimmy Fallon too. He's absolutely hysterical. This is sad. Sad. I'm gonna take this off and put it up here. Because it's not going to lay down. It's too For that thing to be thick enough for you to be able to just peel it off like that. Yeah, really this is thick something. vinyl. All right, so we'll put it up here instead. And then if we have time, we may cut something else for the bottom. Yeah, I only hear her call her Fallon unless she's in trouble. And then I hear her call her Emery. <laughs> or Emery Fallon. I hear Emery Fallon. I'm like, oh, oh. Somebody's in oh, trouble. Somebody's yeah. in trouble. Okay. This is still a pain because of the contour, which I, I warned you that it might be. We do not have a level, I don't think. This is really sad. Sorry. What are you making? 
Okay, this is not going to work. Which makes me sad. Look at all these. Look at all the wrinkles. It's not cute. Oh, hang on. Let me go overhead. Right? Oh. So we're not going to do this. We're going to scrap it. This is a learning lesson for all of us. We're going to scrap this and start something else. Do you else. think, I'm not saying redo it. I'm saying, do you think that it's because that particular vinyl was so thick? No. No? I think it's just huge. Which is sad because ideally, like, I would have even wanted to make it bigger. Like, to cover. Christy said, I'm late to the chat. Becca, your hair is getting so long. It is, and I did not know I was doing this live today. Or I would have actually done something with my hair. It was up, and I looked very, very homely. And so, I was like, I have a hat in the car. It looks a little less homely. <laughs> Wanted to see if it would work at all. No. Okay. That's okay. We're going to pivot. Pivot. And let's go and do, let's do some little peeps out of that and we'll kind of place them around and we'll do her monogram still. Let's make her monogram. Actually, let's do her whole name. So back to design space. This would also be cute if we had a file for like little print and cut carrots or something. We do. That'd be cute. We have, Isn't that something? We have carrots. Isn't that something? The carrots would be really cute. Do we want to do that? You're the one making this thing. Okay. Let's do Alan. Let me look at my. Do you guys use your font books to, to look at your fonts? I think that's the easiest way rather than like just kind of guessing. I don't even know what kind of font I want to use for this. Hey, Becca. Hey. Are you taking all, uh, found all of Garden on Friday? Christy wants to know. Probably not. I'm a really bad mom. Um, good. That child, she's begging me to go to. She's like, oh, that, that's a great story. Wonderful story. So can we go to all of, can we go to all of Garden? She's ridiculous. I don't, I don't think like I've that. ever gotten a child to sleep so fast in my life. He's easy. What is wrong with this kid? He makes up for all the time his mom spends with him. Don't you dare say that, Emma. Thank you, Rachel. Leather magic. Christy said, what's a font book? See right here? Font book. It's where all your fonts are. If you have a PC, it's called, what's it called? Uh, hold on. One of y'all is going to have to weigh in. I, don't, I haven't had a PC in so long, but it's like, it's where you install your fonts and can view them. Oh, that's cute. Little too yucky though. Sorry, I should have. Well, if I had known I was going to do this, <coughs> we'll go with Subway. That's a safe one. Confetti? I don't know that one. Seven inches. And then we're going to make these. The carrots would be so cute. Sometimes I have good ideas. Do I have? I have green and orange. Oh, heck, Rach. I'm just going to do it. 
Spirit. Go to, we're going to go to the website. We're going to grab our carrot file. Well, there's two of them. I think this is the one that I want. Your child took it away. As long as you're holding it, he loves yeah. it. As long as you're holding it. Okay, and then let's go ahead and open this up and pull it into design space. And upload. Then we don't need the back layer. It's a tag, so the back layer is like an offset with a hole, but we don't need that. Okay, let's make this four inches. And then let's make like six of each four five six I'm just duplicating so I have this selected I'm pressing command D let's make this one a little bit bigger command D or over here duplicate six okay again we need to attach this I'm gonna make these out of the pattern and this is gonna be out of orange and green go ahead and click make it so we'll cut Fallon's name again. Where are our big Tim Holtz scissors? I think you threw them away. Didn't I have another pair? Oh, are those from my desk? No. Oh. The smaller the ones are the ones that I hate, right? Oh. They have something on them. No, it's like a, maybe. I think it's like a bad spot in them now from where we've cut something we shouldn't have cut. We would never. Also can't tell which of us she's blaming silently. It could have been me, Rach. No, they may just need to be cleaned. Anna admitting to something? It's fine. Oops. Also, reuse your, your transfer tape. Even if it looks like this. It's still good. Let's talk about that, Rachel. Tell them what Anna just said. <laughs> she said. She said. She said. Does Anna's anyone want to guess how long it took me to, uh, to know that I had to close out and relaunch the Cricut application after I downloaded a font to my computer? Um, Anna, I, I'm fairly certain we've made ten videos saying that you had to do that. It's just. I mean, honestly. So but these you are the types to of that. things that newbies that won't know. The right. fact of the matter is, I had not used my Cricut probably in over a year. Yeah, I, yeah. Anna, I how did long did it take you to figure that out? Uh, now, here, I was trying to text Becca and Rachel. Then one of those hussies <laughs> were responding to me. I had company. So, um... I literally had to figure it out on my own, and, and I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I did. I just like quick answers, and that's why I like Becca to do it for me all the time. Um, so, first of all, I had to download Design Space onto my computer because my computer's so slow that I had taken it off at one point. Um, and that took me forever. I did have to call Rachel on that. She did answer, but both of us were a little stumped. And then when I had downloaded it from the website, it said that I wasn't approved for this region or something to have it. So I had to jump through some hoops for that. See, the whole thing was weird. I'll give Anna that. It was terrible. Well, yeah. Design Space has been acting weird anyway, in my opinion. So I actually whizzed through Design Space, got my stuff done that I was supposed to get done, but... I'm telling you all, I literally looked in every tab I could find <laughs> for that stupid confetti font. And finally I was like, oh, Becca told me I have to restart it for it to be there. Mm -hmm. 
So um, maybe if you use your cricket more than once a year, you'll retain this kind of information. Or just have better friends than me that actually answer their phone. Oh, man. Maybe craft when we're not busy. <laughs> rolling up on me. This thing has a mind of its own. So if I put this baby down, he'll know it. Yeah, he's gonna know. I mean, you can try, try it. But he's sleeping so peacefully. He's not bothering me. I was just want to know if he'd know it. So, similarly, I don't know if you want to go overhead for this or not. You're okay. Similarly to the problem that we had with the peep being too big, this is not gonna lay down well either because it's so long. So what you're probably going to want to do is place some relief cuts in there and I'll show you what a relief cut, we may not need them, hold on. Straight on there, looks pretty straight. Um, by relief cut, we don't need them. Um, if it were if it were taller, we might need them. You would want to go in and kind of just trim and cut and, and just put some some cuts into the transfer tape. Thankfully, we don't need it, and that just helps it lay down better. Okay, that one worked. And then, why did it quit? Come on. <laughs> Just dead. Interesting. It cut all of these though. Hmm. Which, this is a prime example of why you might want to save your project as you go. Because if I had, like, arranged a bunch of stuff and it pooped out on me, then I would be upset. That was another interesting thing that I found on Design Space on Saturday, though. Before it would let me make it, it made me save the project. Yeah, that's new. <laughs> okay, so, so that wasn't just me not remembering. No. That. Okay. This stuff is thick. Look how cute it is though. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. I'm not putting transfer tape on these. I'm just gonna put them down. So we'll go ahead and move this and cut out the tops of our carrots with some green. Again, StarCraft, it's our favorite. It's the best. Three inches. Gorilla glue. There's two bottles somewhere, and I don't know where I saw it. It might be over on that table. Continue. All right, what are y'all doing for Easter? What we do every year, going to the farm. He's going to get that. Banana pudding that I us have banana pudding that we still haven't had. So, like, what time is your celebration? Maybe I'll just show up. I feel like we can't actually be friends, friends until <laughs> we've had this because how long have you been talking about it? And I still haven't ever experienced it. So here's the problem. Exists. Here's the problem. I'm not confident making it for you all to try because I'm not Memo B. So you all need to come to the farm and eat Memo B's. But it really not. I, I want to say like nowadays we go to the farm and it's like a ho mostly a holiday and you guys are literally welcome there anytime but also it's not something I can bring you because anybody that knows anything about warm banana pudding if you don't eat it within about two hours it goes in the trash like you can't see There's, that is another reason why cold banana pudding's better no no because no. it lasts longer no 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 that just means you just need to eat more of it quicker <laughs> 
But like legitimately, Mama never keeps it. If it's not all gone by the time we leave, it goes in the trash. Because the bananas are like brown and nasty at that point. Yeah. Because they've been in long. Because they've been in hot liquid. I had to completely cancel out and go back into Design Space because it doesn't even connect to my machine. Interesting. Yeah. And Sherry, what part of Down South are you coming to? What are you all doing for East, Rebecca and Anna? We're going out to Don and Paula's with Price's Myers Mosses. Um, just to go out to the farm, play a ton of games, eat a ton of food. Fun. Which is not connecting. I may have to pull out the maker. It's USB connected. Wait. Does the cord on the printer have one of those adapters? Oh, I mean, it was working earlier. Okay. One of the adapters is, is being funky. This one's taped. Then that one should be good. I did that on purpose. Please check that your machine is correct. I'm just going to switch machines. Hold on. You know which machine never gives me trouble? The Joy Extra. I, lo I love that little one. Well, will you try the maker? Which is doing this fun thing. I don't even know. I'm not sure what has to do now. No. Gotta love a good live like this. They actually do, and you know it. They love when we fail. This is not a fail, it just has this little hiccups. It has like detours and all that stuff. Yeah. Maker three. Okay, let's try this. Why is it at the waiting music? Oh, we're connected. Mm, excuse me. What <laughs> waiting music? Yeah, like the like the Jeopardy music sure, that sure, plays sure. when they're do, trying to do, yes. Do, yes. Do. Oh. Well then they missed out. No one told me this was like literally up to my neck. Where's my mind? No one's been, com it's on the ground. <laughs> no one's been complaining. No one cares. No one's been complaining. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. Is that better? Feels better. Yeah. I'm not looks better. Looks better. There we go. It says it's 100% cut. Wow, wow. It's not. So, um, we have graduated a uh, chap to closet baby. <gasps> I don't know if we told you He's all now this. our closet baby? He's now our closet baby. Not quite bathroom baby. There's just no room in there. But he's he's closet baby. He loves it in there. Though. It's darker. That's what the door's open. Please come, guys. It's a huge walk-in closet. It's a huge walk-in closet. Sammy okay. loved being but bathroom baby. But there's no light, so he does really well. There's yes. There's, and I leave the door open into that bedroom that yeah. has a window, and then the Alexa is right in the doorway. Uh -huh. And he's pulled all the way to the front of the door. Like, don't read into this. I'm We're just post a picture so y'all don't think that I'm abusing this. Nobody child. thinks. Nobody Anna, thinks no, that. Anna, no, it's just, it's just. The, literally, he was in a bathroom. Sammy was in the bathroom. He sleeps. Listen, so good in this closet. Sammy did in the back because there was no windows. It was pitch dark in there. He, he slept he, so he would good. Beg. No, 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 no. And then me and Becca would have to hold our pee for like three hours so that kid. Yeah, he would he's take the longest sleeper in the he world. He would take great naps in there though. But yeah, so Chap sleeps much better in the closet. Closet baby. 
thought you guys would want to know. Some babies are just better in really dark rooms. Charlie can do fine either way. Pearson naps But better either dark. way, he has to have white noise. That is a non-negotiable. Oh, absolutely. Well, see, interestingly enough, at Mom's, his room isn't super dark that he naps in. And then he can fall asleep dead a day in the car. So I have no idea. If Charlie falls asleep in the car, it's never for a long time. It's maybe max 30 minutes. He just won't sleep in the car. Okay, go overhead. While this is cutting, I'm going to show you how to do... I'm just going to do... I think I'm going to start out with a single crochet. And you see how, like, random... I did not try to get this straight at all, intentionally, because I want it to look chunky. Like one-inch strips? Yes. Yeah. Um, so when you start crocheting, you start with, like, a slip knot. So I'm just going to go around like this and pull through like this. Now, I was taught to crochet by a left-handed person, so what I do is kind of backward, but it still gets the same thing. Who taught I, you how to no, crochet? No, she wasn't left-handed. Grandma was taught by a left-handed person. Aunt Kathy taught me to crochet, and I she was left-handed. When, we, when were we around her? She taught me. Uh, we were at the round table, and she had that fizzy grape water stuff that I thought was amazing. I don't remember you being there, to be honest. You may not have cared about crocheting. Anyway, single crochet, chain crochet. This isn't single. I'm sorry. This is a chain crochet. You just wrap around and pull through. Just like that. Wrap around, pull through. Wrap around, pull through. It's that easy. That's it. And then once you start doing, like, single crochets and all that stuff, which I kind of want to do with you all, it's... Like a single crochet, which you could go back after you do your chain, you could go back and do a single. So you would just put in like this and go through it and the other side. But we'll do, I can do a video on this later. They're most common for crocheting is your chain, your single crochet, your half double, your double, and your triple. And of course, there are so many other things, but that's primarily what you use and then what I'm going to do is just kind of knot these together because again it doesn't really matter because this is going to be chunky and and all of that again just pull through you could also take these strips and braid it if you wanted to that would be cool mm -hmm. you could use um, big chunky yarn you could use ribbon you could crochet ribbon this way too if you didn't like the unfinished edge look but I'm I just however long you want your handle continue to crochet your little chain Kat said I have crocheted for years and never once thought about doing it with fabric But it kind of looks like a braid, almost. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does. It's really cute. I like how imperfect it is, yes. how it kind of looks. I really like that. This is going to have to be kind of long. So give me just a second. You could do a bigger hook, too. If you wanted to do thicker strands, you could do a bigger hook. You could do a couple of strands, too. Like, if you wanted a couple of colors together, you can put them together. And literally, you're just going to put them like this and crochet it the exact same way. I love to crochet, man. I don't, I don't crochet much anymore, but I love it. I wasn't worried about what you were off. I was worried what the crap you were doing. <laughs> Anna is embellishing Chapman's mirror. We should have done it before. Did you take a before picture? Take a before and after. Anna you know, changes his room up like You know, I've, all I've the time. never looked at anything in my home and been like, I could do something with that. Swear. You're Swear. Well, so what happened? You all do it to me. Like you're like, hey, you know that, that table that's at the office? Why don't you paint that? We'll put it in your room. And I was like, paint it? It's great. It looks like wood. It's gray. It needs to be black. And I was like, oh, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So I paint it. But like never in my life have I looked at something and been like, man. If, if only, only this were. If only I glued 
balls all around this mirror. That's what would do it for me. Okay, so what happened? Are you mic? Yes, was when I hung the mirror, it had like this felt garland thing around it that was different colors. Are you going to give me that garland for my tree? Yes. Okay. And Your tree? Because so, she has several of them. We got them at like Home Goods or something last year. Anyway, and I didn't attach it to the mirror. And so, when I, and it's above Chapman's changing a station, which is his dresser. And over to the right of it, it has baskets on the wall that has his, like, um, diapers and wipes. And then there's like that also. So it's all in one big collage. So when I took the garland off of the mirror, it made it look really, really small in proportion to the other stuff. So I need to bulk the edges back up. But he would not leave the garland on. So I finally just said, I'm done with this battle. I'm taking it off. Sure. So now I'm fixing a problem. Also, it's done. Y'all just cracked me up. Okay, you are the one who has at least 10 picture frames in your house with no pictures and you're fine with it. So, we're not the same people. It doesn't really bother me. Now, would I like there to be... Do I want to take photos with my family? Absolutely. I have never in my life... For... First marriage included. We're got like a 10-year relationship. Never had professional photos taken other than our wedding. <laughs> well, and, um, we haven't even talked about this, I don't think. We scheduled last week. We booked, me and Anna and Rachel and our families booked a Hilton Head yeah. beach vacation yeah. together. So the last week of June, we're all going to beach together. So we'll be live from the beach. Probably not crafting. Probably just lifestyle stuff. I'll stuff. tell you what we need to do, Becca. We need to do a, a grocery haul. Okay. People love that. Yeah. We'll do a and grocery interestingly haul. enough, Mark Lamb and I do not like the beach at all. But it's like we're going to have so much fun with them that we don't even care that we don't actually like the beach. Um, that says a lot about your companies when you hate somewhere you're going and you're still excited about true, it. Anna. Anyway, I was going to say, I'm making Rachel. Uh, we are. I'm choosing clothes that uh -huh. she has to buy and, <laughs> and making her let me take pictures of her family on the beach. And I can't wait. So that there's something on that wall. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you're going to have to wait till like, July to get them up there. Actually, once Becca does them, you can order them and they'll be at your house by the time we get back. That's fine. Sure. I'll probably just order them too. Um, yeah, I can, no, I, I cannot wait. I can't wait to have pictures of my boys. I want some of David holding Charlie. Mm -hmm. I want some of just Charlie and Papa, of just David and Jason. I just me and Jason, obviously. Just me and David. I cannot. I just can't wait to capture our, our little family. Cute. I'm super excited. Okay. Again, I'm just going to hand place these because they're so big. It's just like putting a sticker on. Not a big deal. The carrot's adorable. It's very solid. I'm already trying to anticipate how in the world I'm going to break it to Charlie that we might not be able to take his bike to the beach because I don't know how that's going to work. We can put it in mine. I'll have plenty of room. The poor kid. The poor kid. Not He's not going to have anywhere to ride. No, oh, yeah, there. No, there's yeah, yeah, tons yeah. Of places Is there? Yeah. Lots of people rent bikes down there and ride all over. I will oh, do that. I definitely. No, I mean, I'll get a tandem one with Chapman. I'm not going to. I mean, he's not really riding a bike anyway. Well, you wouldn't do tandem. You would do one that has the seat on the back of it. That's what I meant. He, um, he does really good if you tell him not to get in the road. He does pretty good about that. Oh, I do have um, my client yesterday that goes every year gave me the link to her condo that they've used for like 10 or 12 years. Um, and she said that if we'll go in September, that the rates are like half and that it's vacant. Really? Yes. So, Becky, you'll just have to pull your kid out or your kids. Oh. Look at that carrot. It's pretty cute. Oh. It's pretty cute. That's so cute. Now I just have to decide where I'm going to put the rest of these. Because I just kind of want them all over. Right. Let's. Stacy, I don't like the beach either. Now, I... Stacy, Mark and I are both more of like 
mountains, by a creek, in like a tree house. Like that sounds like heaven to us is being able to sit out on a porch and listen to a creek. I like to I like to look at the beach. I don't like sand because it gets places that I, nothing should get. I don't love. I don't like salt water in my eyes. I don't like salt water at all. I, the whole time that we were in the Caribbean, my toe didn't touch that water a single time. And I have no regrets about that. And I, I'm going to be quite honest. I'm, I'm not looking forward to being scared 24-7 about my kid getting in a riptide. Listen, or there's going to be like way that. there's gonna be way too many David Hasselhoffs there for that to happen. Uh, okay? Well, honestly, we'll probably let him touch his feet in it and hold his hands at the edge of it and play in the sand. But most of the time, we'll be in the pool. I, I mean, just put like a thing on him. And, and a rope. And a rope. And a rope. Yes. I don't know. Nothing is going to happen to those kids. I'm excited for Charlie to experience it because he's just going to have the best time Beckett. ever. Beckett. Tell him about the first time that Beckett saw the ocean when we were on the cruise. Oh, my God. He was, what, 18 months old? Yes. <laughs> he. Oh, it was the sweetest Oh, my God. I have ever. a video of it. He is running. I mean, just running. And then he gets to the sand and he's like, hated the sand on his face. He didn't but he know. loved the water. So he excited. ran and like dove Jumped. into the water. Yeah. Bless his heart. It was so sweet. We were in the Bahamas and he, I mean, he played until he finally fell asleep and he was like laying on a table sleeping. On a picnic table. Laying yeah. on a table. We've got a picture of that too. Completely yeah. passed out. Bless his heart. And of course, because he was the only child at that point, uh, Becca had him wear a little captain's outfit on the cruise on the day that we took off, and Shocker. everyone thought he was the cutest thing well, ever. Well, that's because he, he was. was the cutest he thing He was ever. freaking adorable. Yeah. It's, it's going to be fun, though. I'm excited. It's it's our first. I and mean, we've been on camp trips, but this is like the first quote-unquote vacation with Becca and them and the crew and everybody. Right. And I'm excited. It's going to be a good time. And our good. guys get along so well. They're all they're all boring. Yeah, all the sure. men are just <laughs> boring. <laughs> they're going on a fish trip. Yes, that they're Wednesday. Going deep all sea the boys fishing. and Fallon's like, I want to go on a fish trip. No, cat. Becca doesn't like the beach either. Fallon's the one that wanted to go. Cat said, so the beach trip is for Becca then. No, oh, I hate the None beach. of us like it. It's for the kids. It's listen. There are things that you do. No, I'm, I have never not once been like, really, the beach? I'm excited. I'm super excited to go. Pumped. Pumped. But, but I would rather go, like, skiing or something. But our littles are so little. Now, they can't do stuff like that. Yeah. I also love cruises. Which we're also doing. Next year. And a beach, to me, what honestly, a beach isn't terrible if I could just, like, read the entire time. Yeah. Which that's what men are for, right? You know. Oh, please. That's what men are for. We'll say y'all got your deep sea fishing nine hour trip. Watch does, these kids. Does anyone have fun ideas that we could take and do something for the girls? Fun with Fallon? Yeah. Because we're not going on the deep sea fishing. She said that she wants. She's jealous and wants to do something fun too. And we want to do something fun just yeah. for girls. Yeah. And we're not talking. Pedicures, manicures, bleh. I wanted to go parasailing, Rachel but Rachel parasailing. would rather die. <laughs> I'll take pictures of you. I, I would li literally. I think that I would. I think twice. I would skydive before I would parasail. Oh hell no! I think I would skydive before I parasail. I've been parasailing once. When, on our senior cruise. Yeah. Um. We did go zip lining. Mark and I did. Oh, um, I would zip line. I would too. I think Fallon would love that. That was. I'm probably over the way limit. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I was pretty close then. Um, but that was when we went. Where was that? It was. It was one of our cruise destinations. But you, they had this waterfall thing where you would walk up to the top and then you went down like eight or nine waterfalls that were so much fun. They were like waterfall slides. Mm, mm. And then when you got to the bottom of that, they shuttled you over to um, zip line through the uh -huh. rainforest. And then you got like oh. authentic food at the end of it and could shop. It was probably, with the exception of the swimming with the dolphins, it's my favorite excursion we've ever done. Okay. Can you okay. swim with the dolphins in, at Hilton Head? <laughs> 
Someone Google that. So, oh, Dogs oh, and sharks. genuine it was, question. It was something super cool that I haven't mentioned when we were in, we were, we were on our honeymoon and we were going on our boat ride. Um, the fellow would be like, you know, and to your right is uh, one of the old plantation home, you know, whatever. And we passed by like their version of SeaWorld, except it was just dolphins, right? Like just dolphins. And he said, so there you can like swim with the dolphins. They have so many shows a day, whatever. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And he said, the best part about it is the dolphins are not in captivity. He's like, they're here in the ocean and they've been trained to come back. So, literally, they clock in for their shift. <laughs> they just come in for their shift. And when they're done, they just go out in the open ocean. They're I completely trained. They're completely trained. They have these little clips on their little fins that have their names on them and their, you know, their ages. And they can track them and stuff. But they're not in captivity at all. And yeah, I thought cool. that was well, literally honestly, the coolest thing. you condition them to, like, come and get fed, of course they're going to come. And they're the day. most trainable, smart animals ever. So, literally, they were like, you don't have to keep these animals in captivity. They're way too smart Do for that. you know what's strange to me? When um, Beck and I have been doing the read through the Bible in a year thing. And uh, when they were talking about um, building the Ark. Ark, the Ark of the Covenant and all that kind of stuff um, and the Holy of Holies, they kept talking about dolphin skin. Huh? Yes. Did they not, Becca? Dolphin skin? Did your, did your translation not say that? No. Let me find it. Dolphin skin? Yes, it kept talking about dolphin skins and I was like, What? But they're so smart, and they literally were like, if they don't think, like, th their life is great. They come, they ha they do these fun things, they get trained, they get treats, they love it. Well, they're social, yeah. They're so social, so they want to come back. It's not like they have, like, this shock collar that zaps them until they come back. It's they, They're just trainable, and since they're not in captivity, there's nothing to fear. They enjoy what they do, so they just come and go. And he said at any given time, they have plenty of dolphins to, that are all trained in the same way, so they can do all their shows with whichever dolphins are there at the time. It's the coolest thing ever. I thought that was so neat. Moses said, when you see this tent of dolphin skins, I want you to remember that we did not leave Egypt and become a free people with, with a lot of help, without a lot of help. Dolphin skins. Yes, they talk about dolphin skins all throughout. No. And then it says the dolphin drawn with the boat was a symbol of the church or its people being protected and guided by Jesus. I don't know. But my thing is you're in the middle of the desert. Where the heck did you go get dolphin listen, skins? Listen, listen, listen. That's what I think they're... It has to be a weird translation. Different translation, or yeah. Any any Bible scholars can can y'all weigh in on that? Yeah, that <laughs> makes me think that something got lost, but over the hundreds of years of translation. All right. Okay. Have it all the way around. That's so cute. Opted to do that, and I still want to use this because I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna do it down here at the bottom and it comes with it comes with these two ribbons on it so I'm gonna just like tie it through this I'm gonna put two holes I'm gonna drill two holes and when you're drilling this you're gonna want to do it really really slow and start out smaller probably than you actually need and go bigger because you don't want to splinter this I haven't actually done this yet I'm hoping it goes well um, Stacy said, is there any type of amusement park or anything near where we're staying? I have no idea. I don't think I so. I can't imagine there being something like that on Hilton Head. I've never been to Hilton Head, but from my understanding, everything has code as far that as... That did really well, look. Oh, it didn't even... Uh-uh, didn't splinter. Anna, what verse in book and translation is that? So I like to read out of the Passion Translation, but this would be in, I mean, it's talked about several times um, in the Pentateuch, so the first five books of the Bible. Um, that is specifically, what's, Moses is mostly Leviticus, isn't it, Becca? 
Yeah, mostly. Exodus and Leviticus. Have you all read the NLT translation at all? Uh-huh, yeah. Do you like it? I do. I like the Amplified. I like um, English Standard Version is really good. Um, it breaks my heart. Not I don't, listen, I don't regret anything about my childhood or being brought up in the in a very back road Baptist church, but I really, really wish that I had l- first read the Bible cover to cover any other translation than, K- than KJV. Yeah. I mean, it, it, in my opinion, it is the most difficult translation to understand. And I feel like I wasted a lot of time being frustrated <laughs> with, with the translation when I could have just read a different <laughs> translation and got more out of it. So I'll drill holes in this too. I might use this ribbon though. I really like it. Uh, this, let's see. God commanded Moses, and Moses told the people to gather up the dolphins, prepare their skins, and sew them together to make a tent covering oh. that would be the top tent for the great golden box. Where did they get the I, I dolphins? Gather up the dolphins. <laughs> gather them up. I have no idea. Gather them up. I think I'm gonna have to text my uncle Jim and ask him about it. Like, were there guys and they were like, you, you got to go to the ocean, buddy. God said we needed a lot of dolphin skin. <laughs> so like, okay, well, it's, it's going to be a while. We got to get there. Then we got to catch them. Go, oh, dang it. Oh, Tracy said, try to go to Coco's on the beach. They have really good food and drinks right on the beach. I'll post a pic in the Facebook group. Okay. It's dead. Oh, no. I must, uh, is it in Hilton Head, Tracy? There should be another battery right there, Becca. There isn't. It? Go to the next door down. I'm not going to let this get me. How big um, of a hole do you need? Can you put a nail through it? That's what I'm going to do. Where is the... um? <gasps> My deep throats might help me. <laughs> oh, God, stop. It hurts to laugh. Oh, it hurts. Who would name a product <laughs> deep throat hole punch? This feels dirty oh, so much. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, Rachel. Heat it up with the heat gun, then do it. Uh, yeah, Rachel. I know. It. Where's well, that see, tiny hammer? Where's that tiny, tiny hammer I bought? It's not that I don't. I love the Passion Translation. It's my absolute favorite ever. I like it and the message because it, it makes it feel more modern and more relatable. So it's not that I want a different translation, but I just want to know what that actually means by dolphin skins. Like, is it a meta? Is it a metaphor? Doubt it. I mean, it sounds pretty literal to me. Let me just text Uncle Jim and see what he says. Whoa! Why did it start? It started! Uh. (laughs) I'm dying. It gave me just enough juice. Ah, That's right. Okay, we're going to make this work. <sighs> okay. What are you doing to that baby? Nothing. I could give him to a pure baby. I really need this to be bigger. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I still think if you if you got a screwdriver really hot, you could just melt right through it. I know. I'm sure I could. Sleep. 
creepy. He only slept for like 15 seconds, didn't he? Okay. Okay, while I'm doing this, let's talk about this. I'm having the most difficult time trying to figure out what formula works for him. So we've tried, we tried Similac Sensitive, Similac Total Comfort. Then we, and both of those, he was just super colicky and screamed the whole time. So then I switched to Infamil, the purple Infamil. And he stopped screaming, but he has acid reflux so bad it's not even funny. So now, oh, and his poop was like, sorry, poop talk. His poop was like really weird colored. So now I'm back to, um, Similac, but doing the, it's the blue one. That's like 360. It's the one that's supposed to be like most similar to breast milk. But I can't, somebody suggested using a non-name brand, so generic formula, and I can't find generic formulas anywhere. Is this a problem just in East Tennessee, or is this a problem where you are too? I'm curious. I can't find them at Walmart. I can't find them at Target. I can't find them at Sam's. But there was nothing at Sam's. I was really counting on uh -uh. Sam's. Have you tried Nutramagen? Oh. Um, that one and what's the other one that sleeps? It's like the Cadillac of all. Uh, they're both stupid expensive. They're, they're crazy expensive. That's my next, I guess. Now, you're, the problem is that the pediatrician can prescribe it and then WIC will give it to you, but he doesn't have birth certificate or social security card to, or insurance. to go to the doctor. <laughs> So we're waiting on all of that. I mean, I'll just pay for it if I have to. Like, that's not even... Tracy wants to know if Aldi has formula. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think so. This is looking cute. This is looking real cute. Okay, let's put this stuff in it. Got our tool here. I'm just going to fluff it up. This is like a, I think it's a whole yard. No, 108 inches by 54 inches. So it's a lot of tool. It's three yards. Oh, there's glitter everywhere. I'm going to use a whole one though. Oh, it's getting on me. Look how pretty. Can you see? Can you see that it's glittery it is pretty? pretty. I saw someone, um, I can't remember what company it is, but there's a fun company that gets me on Instagram. And they have like these silks that kit, they're for kids to play with. And somebody had used one of those silks in the bottom of the Easter basket, which I thought was a cute idea because then the kids play with it on top of it. You know, like the ones that are like rainbow that you do like a billow and stuff like that with, that cute. would be cute. But look, the, look how cute that is in the bottom. That's adorable. Right? And I don't have all that crappy Easter grass everywhere. So something else, if you do thematic basket, um, like some people do their kids, flip-flops and bathing suits yeah. or something like that. You could put a towel in the bottom of it. Yeah. Um, that would be cute. Oh, my gosh, guys. My aunt sent me a uh, TikTok, and she said, here's your next craft idea, Rachel. And it was a like a little craft infomercial from, like, the late 80s, early 90s. And it was this woman who bought a whole fish at the supermarket. She came home. Do you, do you know what I'm No, I just. She laid the fish down. She said, okay, now dry your fish off. Whole fish. So you got the eyeballs and everything, okay? Oh, and she said, okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to pick out five to seven colors of paint. She said, I'm going to do very bright, very summer paints because I want this to just be super vibrant. Okay, so she takes like a three-quarter inch cheap 
paintbrush and she paints these stripes on this fish, okay, it's with all the horrible colors. And she says, be sure to really get it in the eyeballs. Since, I mean, it's horrible. Then she takes a beach towel, <laughs> flops the beach towel onto this painted fish, presses it down like it's a stamp, Becca, pulls this beach towel up, and on the beach towel is an imprint of a striped painted fish. It's horrible. Well, it's a crime, okay? Bella wanna do it. Ew! It's a crime. <laughs> That's so funny. So here is our, look how cute. What's the crocheted part? Well, I decided to do this instead because I forgot we had this. It was going to be this instead. It's going to be this part. Oh. It's going to just be a handle. Um, But then the kids can use the bottom part for their egg hunt, just take that off. Or I've also seen where you can cut this part out and then use the whole thing so they could still put stuff in there. But I just think this is so stinking cute. If you got an Easter basket just full of this and it looked like an Easter egg and it had all this cute stuff on it, like I'm obsessed. I love it. Love this thing. And you can reuse it year after year. Let me see. I haven't even got to see you all on here today. Wow, it's been an hour and 23 minutes. That's what happens when you mess up in the design space. Becca, after all this, I sure hope you're going to use this for Fallon. No, I'm not going to use it for Fallon. This is for you all. Becca and Fallon and Pearson have matching Easter baskets, and I use, I try to use the same one. Like, I might change out the tag and stuff. This year's tag is going to be different. Where's Chapman's tag? Uh, at home. You know what? <coughs> you should, should have probably put someone's name on that that we could actually have gifted that to. I can still take it off and put a name on it. That's true. <laughs> Nutra. So, is it milk free? No, I need to look this up. This might be the problem. Nutramogen. Hypoallergenic. I'm, I'm afraid that's what I'm going to have to do. Alumin, alumentum. Alumentum. Yeah. It's so stinking expensive. Oh my gosh. Not used for food allergies, including cow's milk allergy. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Is he laughing at you? Yes. Look at those cheekies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's literally cackling. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for being here with us today. Rachel, we hope, is going to go live on Thursday to make a cool solar eclipse project for you all. Yeah, I bought what, what we're waiting on. I bought on Prime, but it's saying, like, may take, because I bought it last week when you told me yeah. to. I, I'm hoping it'll be here. If not, of course, we'll switch something up and, and be here for you all. But I've already made the file for the glasses, though. The cut file. I hadn't put it on the website for you all. Well, but anyway, thank you for being here. Again, if you are not already a member of Oak and Lamb, go ahead and join using that code CRAFTY, C-R-A-F-T-Y, at checkout. We're excited. Excited for you to be here. Excited to onboard new members all the time who love crafting, who love having fun, who love laughing, who love learning, who love teaching. If that sounds good to you, then join us here at Oak and Lamb. If you're not already a subscriber to the YouTube channel here, go ahead and hit subscribe. It's a free way to help support us. And then like this video. If you like it, let us know if you have any questions, if you're watching this afterward. Um, as always, everything that we have used or something similar is linked below for you all. So check out those links and have a fantastic rest of your day.